So, um, I'm Kevin Rayford from The Naked Classroom, and I'm going to show you something about the Pythagorean Theorem, a common term used in geometry. So, whenever you see a right triangle, which is a triangle that has this little sort of square rectangle type kind of shape in it, it means it's a right triangle. And so what you want to do is figure out what a missing side would be. And so the formula would be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now the smallest side would be a, second smallest side would be b, and the hypotenuse or the side opposite the right angle would be c. So for this triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So here you have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 equals 5 squared, 25. So 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. For this one, 6 would be the A, 8 would be the B, C would be the 10. So 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. Let's try it. 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64 equals 10 squared, which is 100. Now, I'm using these triangles because 99% of the time on a proficiency test or any other math test, you'll see these triangles being used because they work out easily. So let's try this one. 5, 12, 13. These are the three main triangles. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and a 5, 12, 13. So over here, we're going to have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. So 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144, and that equals 13 squared, which is 169. Now, the reason why I show you all this is because on a test, you would see something written like this. You figure out x. So for here, it's easy. We know that this is a 3, 4, what's missing here? 5. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so x would equal 5. On another test, if you see this written, what's missing? This is a 6, 8, 10. x there, if you see this on an exam or proficiency, you know that what's missing would be 8. And on here, a 5, 12, 13. If you saw this on a test, Excuse my poor drawing, but if you had 5, 12, and x, x equals 13. So memorize these triangles, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13. And when you see this one proficiency test or any other test, those would be your answers. Hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to visit the blog, www dot v